having this 10 X to the fifth power off to the side next to this polynomial in parentheses means multiplication. It doesn't matter if the 10 X to the fifth is off to the side on the right or off to the side on the left, you're going to distribute the 10 X to the fifth through. Now, just to emphasize what's going on, I've rewritten the original in color to emphasize the exponents that are in blue and the coefficient here, eight, negative five, and the constant in green. Okay, so now if I'm gonna multiply, that means I'm gonna take this negative 10 X to the fifth times the front one, times the middle one, and to the back one. Sometimes you'll see this expanded, but frankly, sometimes if you write too much, I think that it, it starts making it more complicated than it is. So when you're multiplying, you're multiplying in any order you want. 10 times x to the fifth times eight times x to the second. You can picture expanding that if you want to. 10 times x times x times x times x times x times eight times x times x. Get a whole string of all multiplication. But the fastest way to do this is to multiply the number times the number. So positive 10 times positive eight and x to the fifth times x squared. Okay, so 10 times eight is 80 and x to the fifth times x squared, we would add exponents and end up with 80 x to the seventh. Okay, then let's do that again. 10 x to the fifth times negative five x to the third. Positive times negative is negative. And then 10 times five is 50. And x to the fifth times x to the third, we're gonna add exponents. So this ends up being negative 50 x to the eighth. I never write this middle step, that's just what's going on in my head. 10 x to the fifth times six, positive times positive is positive. 10 times six is 60, and all I have is x to the fifth, so just x to the fifth. Bringing that down, I have my final answer. Now, I'm gonna show a little bit less work because, I, again, I think the less work you show in these, it's a little bit easier. So I've just rewritten it, color-coded a little bit, and we're gonna distribute this 9x squared through. So when I do this multiplication, the first one times the first one, this first one times the middle one, and the first one times the last one. So multiplying these two together, let's do nine times two, 18, and then x squared times x to the ninth is x to the 11th. So we have 18 x to the 11th. Next one, positive times positive is positive. Nine times four, 36, and x squared times x to the first is x cubed. So sine, coefficient, and then the degree. Nine times two, 18, x squared times x to the ninth, x to the 11th. Nine times four is 36, x squared times x to the first, x to the third. Okay, finally, 9x squared times eight. Nine times eight is 72, and then we have x squared. Now, a few extra steps in the middle that are not necessary is just showing that I'm adding these exponents, two and one, which is one of my power rules.